in the studio, but I did manage to do them. I've been very lazy this week. Um, I don't know. I've been feeling very anxious. I'm not sure why because I am almost there with my Wednesday um, shop update. I guess I just think too much about what's going on. Like I need to do some content for November and then I am planning something for December which I need to create in November and November is my content air, um, time. So yeah, I just overthink too much. But anyway, um, yeah, so I've been very lazy last this week actually. So I didn't do my dividers. And although I didn't do my dividers, I think I will still do my studio tour. I keep saying studio vlog the other video, but I meant studio tour. So I've been doing some cleaning. I don't know if I will put the footage in the beginning. I am quite new to like editing, so let me know if you like the way I've edited the video so far. Um, yeah, I'm holding this because I just cleaned my whiteboard, so I'm gonna gonna write October. See how organized I am. I have not even done my whiteboard for October, but I just want to show you. Um, I got this crochet stuff from my friend Edna, and she made. Well, I asked her to make me some Halloween decor she can crochet I'm so envious I I wish I know how to crochet but yeah she stuck this with some cotton stuffing and that's I like this one but I really like this one more look it is purple and he's got a scary face on it there is another one in peach so we were talking with this because I was telling her the yarn that I purchased for my needle punching is the, the wrong weight. This It's like thicker. So I was like, I have this unused yarn. Could you help me crochet something with it? And she said, yeah, there, the yarn is perfect for crocheting. So I gave her and she made this one as well. Yeah, I love this mushroom. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with this mushroom. So there's another one, an orange color with the face that my eldest son already stolen. So I don't have that. So I'm gonna put them around the room. I don't have a lot of space, but I'll make it work. This one is living on my, next to my screen. And I have this two on next to my silhouette. If I added that clip already. And I don't have a place for this one, but currently I have space for it next to the big one. But it just looks a bit weird, like one big one and a small one. So anyway, um, I'm not sure what to do in this studio vlog actually. <laughs> We're just winging it as usual. Um, yeah, so today is, what is the date today? Today is Friday the 6th. Um, tomorrow is my shop launch so I'm gonna do a poster graphic to make to announce the countdown for tomorrow and I'm gonna do my listing in the website like I said I am doing like a special on the website first so for the whole weekend you can purchase Wednesday first on the website at a discount and then she will be back to normal price and then at the end of that week like maybe Friday or Saturday I will bring her to the queue at of course the normal price so if you want her earlier you can purchase her and I will try to sh um, send it to you before the weekend so that is fair that you get it first before the queue uh, gets it yeah, so I'm gonna do that in this vlog. What else? Um, yeah, let's just do that. Hi 
Hi friends, so I just came back from errands with my family and I don't have anything else to film for you so let me do the studio tour and I will talk to you after that. So as you can see earlier, I shot some footage of me coming in from the front door of the house and this room is the first room on the left so this is what you see when you first come in I am standing at behind the door so I tried my best to clean the studio up for the studio tour so as you can see here this is my gray sofa and I have random stuff here to kind of because the kids always come in and give me stuff so there's food and random watches and whatever so my handbags are always here and I have this um, wall art here and then the switches here and then I'm I don't know why these are like this in the design but we'll go with it so let me first show you this area here I have random stuff down there let's not talk about that and also have packaging behind there and I have my collection of candles here okay and moving on here I have things I want to discharge in this container and um, shop stuff the other container is for um, in-person vendoring events then you know this is my true to life size um, standy behind it is where I put my ring light and also my other tripod my blue tripod and I put um, wires stuck on this nail here this is my shelf where I put um, random stuff actually I have bags my craft bag there I have storybooks and kind of um, reference books I have journaling books lettering books um, draw your day books right there I have my Chinese dictionary yeah these are like random reading and <laughs> journaling books then up here is my a6 notebooks mm, disc it's not organized right now because life then up here is my E5 and B6. Up here I just put my camera. Um, okay. Moving on to this side is my packing table. Below I have more stuff. This container is for also in-person vendoring events. This one I have my display. This is my sewing machine and there's this yellow card that I use for carting my stuff when I go to events as well I have my purple bubble wrap my paper cut uh, some more packaging stuff my paper puncher some more acrylic um, displays for events so I don't usually use things on here um, and up here is my tissue paper these are for my in-person vendoring events i saw them but i decided to purchase them just to keep i'll take this away for now and let me turn on the light because there is sh shadowing um, ah there you go so this is my packing table and i have um like I said, tissue paper, some stickers, some tools that I use, my candle, some stickers. Um, and then this is a trash bin that I got from Toku Tokuya. Seller tape. A freebie um, postcard. Some more freebie. And this I just cut today because I realized there's no more freebies at the cube. So I'm just going to drop that off. I'm sorry about that these are new products and then these are um, products already in the shop that I have extras of the rest are at the cube then I have cardboard boxes here 
these are waterproof stickers that I want to stock in the cube but not yet because there's still um, paper die cuts that I haven't finished selling so once they are done I will put this in and all of my die cuts in the future will be waterproof and I purchased this from Chaku Chakuya as well just you know for storage and decoration this one uh, keeps my cellophane bags there's three drawers there's different sizes there's big ones medium size and small ones and in here i keep uh, my magnetic bookmarks and die cuts that are in packs this one i just use for photography so that's why they're out here and then oh i forgot to show you my new like packing tape thingy i found this in Tokutokuya as well i have paper bags stickers and back here a lot of like label stickers some more like post light juice lips okay and then some more like um envelopes these are i made myself um like this one this is something that i'm testing like I, I made this recently um, because I wanted to try making it purple and then inside it looks like this say hello to your new goodies I love that instead of plain white I decided to do that so that's just my experiment for now and then in here I have random stuff I'm not sure what's in here I need to clean this drawer up pan over to this side this is my stock area and this is where i film as well so let me put this back here so i have this contraption for filming top down views and this is right in front of my window so i have natural light coming in when i'm taking photos of filming next to it i have my planner box so this is my current planners that i'm using and then next to it is my sticker collection i have a pen tub here and more pen accessories random there and then here is more of my pens but let's go to my stock first i have my remaining stock of notebooks back here and then i have pens my notepads and then these are water brush pens that i want to put in my shop but not yet and then these are straw for my glass cup it's very dark now so i can't really show you these are miss cut stickers that i need to put in my shop as well as you know sometimes i put um, miss cut stickers in packs and sell them for cheaper but yeah i have been accumulating all of that they're already in packs but i just need to put them in my queue so here are my pouches section i have some that are not yet have the iron on clothes i have this oh, cover which is for like disc bound covers um, sticker albums I have my sticker books here some more um, pencil case and albums up here and then this is my purchase from various um, cover shops that this is my haul actually it's not my stock but I just put them in here back there like I said are the glass cups I want to do something with them but I don't know what so they're just sitting there for now this is not my stock this is my paper supplies for my shop as well as over there so let's move over here let's scoot over so this thing is sitting next to my table so I put my paper supplies here and down here are like my crafting supplies as well there is a craft bag here i can't show you it's dark i have my like collection of um pencil cases and pencil pouches like this 
they're just out here these are my sticker paper craft sticker paper normal glossy all of the papers then these are like my crafting things my pens and pencils and I have my remote for that over there for like mood oh am I doing this the other way around oh yeah it's this way let's change it to yellow no red okay you can't really see okay moving on my I have a lot of pens and markers so as you can see there's one here there's one here these are like writing this is more like fancy pens um, and then these are like writing and gel pens these are my brush markers and highlighters tub and then let's get over here I have two more pen cups one is for like art stuff like pencils watercolors and um, color pencils are in there this is what I use a lot like my scissors and my normal pen so they're like close by I have my um, whiteboard right there my two screens and my printer and this section is my Harry Potter section then this section is kind of like my inspo section so I sit right here and I have my printer my screen and my cutting machines really close by yeah so this is where everything gets made and I have my washi drawer here and my sticky notes drawer here as well as the um, stamps there and like an overflow these are um, my fountain ink and down here is an overflow of um, washi tape so I have this I have a lot of machines and things so I needed a like 10 or 11 USB hub <laughs> yep that's life so um, what was I gonna say before that oh yeah um, when I sit here I have a problem with like where to put my planner after I use them so that's why I have this area and this area close by to like keep my planners after I've used them otherwise they'll be piling up here and there and I keep piling them up here as well so I'm glad that I have now designated area for where I put my planners and journals after I use them and also since I sit here a lot of the time I do my crafting as well that's why I after I put I finish my crafting I put it aside sometimes they're like here on these machines and I ended up buying this so this is something I purchased from living industry Brunei and it's just three drawers and that's where I put all of my crafting stuff so I have cloth and then extra monks cloth all of my yarn is down here and my needle punch thing and then the middle drawer is my tech stuff like my microphone my dead cat um, my tools my hubs yeah extra fan also I have like random screws and things I if I need them and then my printer ink is also back here another microphone and this um, glue is for my needle punching at, for the back so that's why they're together and then the first drawer is kind of an overflow of my stamps and then here is my overflow of tech stuff as well like random bits like the nib for my apple pen some binder clips and things like that my hard disk is in here as well so yeah it's just great to have a lot more storage nearby 
and as you can see this is my needle punch frame and yeah and it's just random stuff in here <laughs> yeah and then one other thing that I wanted to show you is that when I am cutting stickers this is where I put the stickers after I cut them so the good ones are in the first slot and then the miscut ones are here so I have miscut ones so currently these aren't miscuts but they're too small these are my public holidays for 2024 so that's just a sneak peek for you but when I test printed and test cut these I found that they're really tiny I don't know about you but these are way too tiny for me so I decided to put them in the oops pile so I'm still working on perfecting them so yeah so and this basket here is my um, kids information document stuff that needs attention so that's why it's here so I have this one here and then this um, next to my cutting machine and then I have stickers down here the last thing I want to talk about is this area not my trash can but this area is my overflow of crafting stuff I have accumulated a lot of stuff over the years like I have different interests like one time I wanted to make um, ribbons for like headbands and then I was into making accessories so I have like the jump rings and like ribbon stuff for like making string bookmarks and in here are just like the jump rings and like clips crocodile clips like that so I just bought these um, from Taku Tokuya to keep them contained this one is also my elastic yeah so yeah this is just random like washi tape old washi tapes gouache watercolors cricket and foils and then I have like the friendship bracelet stuff in here I have a lot of them I used to make them for fun so yeah those are my craft supplies area and down here is not yet sorted but I have like ephemera for journaling so they're like in here like you see photos like receipts that I save ephemera stuff I need to sort these out ASAP so yeah behind here I just have my <laughs> my bags and then my um, table banner that I used in my last event so that is all everything in my office tour let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer you so I hope you enjoyed that studio tour um, I'm really happy in this space um, I have a lot of room to grow um, like I said I'm still it's still a work in progress as always I have things to you know put away but I like that everything is within reach everything has a place um, like I said I have a lot of things to plan and do I think I'm just overwhelmed with what I am planning to do because of the upcoming um, end of the year stuff like as always we have the planner market at the, the end of the year and as a build up to that i always like to do some sort of like refresher course in terms of um, planning and things like that in november so november is my content bucket like everything i want to talk about like reintroducing the sizes that you could you know buy and then once you are knowledgeable about all of that you are you know okay to browse like in the market in december words are hard today um yeah so i usually do that kind of stuff on instagram like last year i did it on planner market 
um, no, the year before that I did it on Plana Market. Last year I did it on September Moon Co's Instagram, like reintroducing like what are the available sizes and things like that. And I want to do the same thing, but in video format on YouTube. Um, yeah, so November is what that's gonna be, but at the same time, I will be working on manufacturing something for December as well as my shop um, contribution for the end of the year market. So I foresee myself getting very, very, very busy and getting very, very overwhelmed. But I want to document everything. Yeah. I'm sorry if I just run, ramble on a lot. I I, I want to keep it in because that's just me and I like talking about these things to someone who understands, right? So yeah, I want to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. I like that it's very consistent so far. I did think that I was going to film only every fortnightly, but um now that i am into the flow i find it very easy to film on friday the whole day and then put it up the next day um i don't think i can do multiple days of filming right now so we'll level up when it the time comes so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you like it uh, give it a like and subscribe and comment down below i will take talk to you guys soon in the next studio vlog until then bye bye